Welcome back to my blanket fort. My name is Tessa Doodle and I will be your host today. Thank you so much for having the patience for giving me a little bit of a break last week. It there are some things that happened, like I said before, and it just kind of made it a little difficult and I wasn't able to finish a video in time. Again, thank you so much, all of you, for being so kind and letting me take a little bit of a break. Alright, but before we get into all of our stuff, we are going to take our sip of the day. So go ahead and go get your favorite mug, bowl, tankard of any kind. Go get your favorite beverage and we're going to take a sip together in 3, 2, 1. Mm. Alright, so I had cold water because it is hot as heck outside and it's around 87 degrees I think so it's been pretty warm over here it's been chilly in the morning it's been really nice and hot the rest of the day so I just decided to drink some water all right now that we have gotten our sip of the day to kind of uh, get things running our item of the week is going to be chocolate bars. Yay, candy. Everyone loves candy. Some people don't, okay, so I can't really speak for everyone. A lot of people like candy. And so we're doing chocolate bars because I think it would be kind of fun to do, and they're actually a lot more simplistic than you think. Now that we know what we're doing, go ahead and get your sketchbook or get on your computer so we can do some drawing. And let's get started. So again, like I said, we're going to be doing chocolate bars. Yes, chocolate bars. They are delicious. I love them so much. I personally like the dark chocolate a lot, but other people like milk chocolate and other chocolate bars. But we'll also kind of do like candy chocolate bars as well, not just chocolate bars. Alright, so now how I imagine these is, uh, I really think of them, they're pretty much a thin rectangle. Thin rectangle cube? Something like that. So, basically, the way I think of it is, we draw like a rectangle, and we add a little bit, this is very, very simplified, but, and I'm not using my my line helper right now, which I'll do later, but they kind of look like a phone too, if you really think about it, though normally I think this would be thinner, and from the look of it, you just have squares on the top as well, so kind of like, they're, they look like keyboard keys. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Let's see. That, and then technically you'd add like a smaller. There you go. It's kind of like a... It's... it's These are hard to do. I understand if it's hard to do these. It's the whole th understanding 3D objects. Can be very difficult and that will help you a lot with so many things so if you're able to go back and look up videos on it how to draw 3d objects 3d cubes spheres it trust me it'll help you out so much it's helped me out a lot but it's kind of this this kind of looks like a keyboard key i do like the the you know, the well, there you go. Now you've learned how to draw a keyboard key. It's very flat keyboard key. I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I am going to use my line helper. Right now. Oh, I think I did that wrong. The perspective's wrong. 
See, even that doesn't look real now. <laughs> All right, so that I've noticed, like I said before, these are just long rectangles. That's all they are. Or think of your phone. It's basically your phone. We'll do like a really easy version of chocolate. Flat 2D version. You have your squares. Mine is uneven. Ignore that, please. Technically, hold on. Technically, you can go like this. Well, can we? If you want to make it really simple, you could. But normally they have gaps. Two. Three. Whoops, four. I can't count. Six. Five. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I don't know how many they normally have. One, two, three, four. They probably have like five, six, maybe eight. Okay, this looks horrible. I know it does, but it's basically what they kind of look like. So you can also add the wrapper on there. Wrappers are weird. Let's see. We're going to do this. Let's do this. We're going to do like a weird we're bringing our perspective point there. We're going to do this. In fairy actually I would make this really thin. And actually, I think we should round the corners as well. Because it makes it look a little more... Well, technically in these pictures, they're very sharp. So you can do it sharp too. Okay, there we go. And then, technically everything, like... Follows this point in a way. Whoops. Maybe. Um. Boop. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay. There's your chocolate. I'm half tempted to just copy and paste all these, but I'm going to draw it for you guys. For you guys, I will draw this. I will not go the easy route. And I think what you want to do for these edges here is you actually want to follow this line right here. On the outside of the bar and that if I'm correct that's following the perspective correctly that's another thing you could look on is perspective perspective helps a lot I haven't done that yet I need to but I haven't same process to follow that. Oh, I did that a little wrong. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna do that to kind of set where everything will be. This will come up. Oh, what is it? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I forgot what those are called. You guys remember math, right? Where they'd have... No. Geometry? No. Mm, I don't know. It's been so long since I've done, like, actual school work. Because I'm working. Oh, I made that very thick. 
made it in that out a little bit. Because technically, since this is getting further away, the detail should be less detail. Technically. If we're thinking of this extremely crazy stuff. Where it's like, oh yeah, technically. Technically. Okay, one, two, three, it looks just <laughs> like a keyboard. We're just gonna do this. Doot doot. Doot doot doot. Sound effects. Doot 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 doot. Doot doot doot. Doot doot. Doot 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 doot. There we go. Eh, the ends don't look amazing. And we're just gonna put a C on all of these for chocolate. Fancy chocolate boy. And then to a point, once it gets all the way back here, like a lot of details kind of like disappear. Okay, we have that. We're not gonna color it quite yet. We are going to do like a like a like a broken off piece of chocolate this time. So we're gonna kind of do the same thing, but we're gonna do kind of like a different angle. And I actually would suggest not using a um like the straight straight brush except for the bottom because I feel like there would be like edges to kind of show where things were broken off because chocolate never breaks perfectly. There we go. And we'll do kind of like an indent here. That's not gonna look right. Let's see. Get a little, little, little weird chocolate thingy. Let's do this. Or bring this up here. And add just a little bit of depth from adding these little lines. We go and we'll delete this right here. We erase it. Which technically they wouldn't have that. So I gotta move this whole thing down. Go just like that. Let's just fix this because I need to. Here we go. Some weird stuff going on there. Okay. Again, it's that whole 3D look. I was going to do a wrapper. That's what I forgot last time. But you kind of see how the edges, like, this is bent just a tiny bit. Now, I think that's because it was partially broken off. These are straight lines, except they're not, like, perfect. You see, uh, let's see if I can get this right here. It's kind of curved instead of straight like we have it in the other stuff. You're not really going to get, like, a straight line, like a solid straight line. From here to there, normally that I've noticed with chocolate. Okay, now we're gonna do. Oh, 
I'm gonna go off of memory and I don't think we should but we're gonna do it anyway reference is key people reference is key All right. Normally this is like folded. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot how those are wrapped. I think there's, like, it's until it gets to about here. I should really look at some wrappers. See? This is why we need... Why we need stuff. Why we need references. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have not studied, like, foils, either, so that's also going to be a little bit of a complication. Probably doesn't look the best, but we're still going to run with it. like a like a bar like a candy bar you want to make it really simple do something like that and then you would have some type of lettering over here I think it's IES for like Hershey's. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. Chocolate bars! They're amazing! Let's see, okay. We've gotten a few chocolate bars, some simple stuff right here, some semi more complicated stuff, and then I would consider that actually more easy. So, now that we've done those, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Well, we can fix it, I guess. Now we're going to do just a little bit of color. And we're going to speed through this color phase so you guys don't have to watch me go through all these. So give me just a second and we will speed this little video up. We are speeding this up so we can go ahead and get through this coloring portion. I wanted to do different colors. I was going to do all the same color for all the different chocolates, but obviously if they're going to be different chocolates, <laughs> they need to be like different colors or shades of brown. So I did that. Now I had fun with doing the like more realistic, like it looks like a Twix bar, like drawing that was fun to color and also to draw to see what i could do i am actually really happy with that one 
and doing the shading on these was a little difficult because well i say they're difficult they're not as hard yeah, eh, that's just me. I thought it was hard, but it isn't as hard because you really just have to think about 3D shapes and where the light's coming from. And I am horrible at lighting and where light is supposed to come from and how to make things look decent. Which, actually, I think I did a good job with this one, so... You know, but this one that I'm working on now... The darker chocolate, I just think of it like you, you like break it off from like this like more fancy chocolate. It looks fancy. Alright, this one was just an easy, like this is just a chocolate bar you get. Technically, I probably should have uh, put all of these, uh, um, what do you want to call them? risen parts I don't, I don't i don't i don't know what to call it. basically the parts that you break apart i probably should have put these together a little bit more closely to look a more a little more realistic they do look like keyboard keys <laughs> you know what that's an interesting thought if someone replaced all their 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 like they had one of the separate keyboards and then they replaced all of the keyboard or key all the keys with like ones that look like chocolate oh man wow that's that's an amazing idea someone needs to do that all right we need to get this out to people so they'll make like a chocolate keyboard i'm guessing someone has already done that so i'm i'm someone probably already has that idea but i just thought of that and i think man that would be actually kind of fun to have it's a very unique keyboard to have chocolate looking keys as your keyboard i don't know <laughs> this one i was gonna do i was gonna do like a red wrapper but instead of doing that normally the twix and stuff they like have i'm no do they have gold they technically have gold wrappers i didn't think about that i probably should have done this with gold but i was making it like it's just a chocolate bar or something like that it looks like a twix though i'm just gonna say it's a twix it's an old version of a twix there you go it's a it's a unique one now that we have finished with our shading we're gonna go ahead and do our critiques so let's get into that starting out with the bottom left I think this one was very simplistic. It wasn't anything crazy. I probably could have done more detail with it. For a chocolate bar, it's a chocolate bar. I think it still looks pretty good with the shading as well. It has just a little bit of 3D into it. Just not a huge amount. The one on the bottom right, I actually really love this one. This looks like a Twix bar. It's making me hungry. Okay, I slightly regret drawing this because now I'm just hungry and I want to eat it. I probably could have done a little bit more crinkles on the wrapper part that's folded back. I didn't really think about that. So I probably could have done that. And then the top right, I really like this one because it just reminds me when you break off a piece of chocolate and it's like a really fancy cho chocolate because it has like a special logo design on it being like it's fancy i really like that one in particular as well then the one on the top left this one i probably could have uh, well i know i could have made these uh, risen parts probably a little bit wider and closer together to make it look more like a chocolate bar I noticed that I didn't do a very good job on that and honestly it just looks like keyboards <laughs> like key oh sorry not keyboards like key keys on a keyboard and it looks like I could like start tapping them or something I just start I don't know if you can hear that but I'm tapping my keyboard <laughs> I'll, that's my tapping sound <laughs> now for the positives I really like the colors and the design of the ones on the right I've noticed. I've also, for all of them, I've colored the lines instead of having them just be black. 
they are colored specifically in different areas, which in digital that helps a lot. And uh, that can make it look more like a th like a solid object or it just blends better unless you're trying to do specific line art. That's different. But for this, if you're trying to make it look a little more 3D like I was doing, coloring the lines can help a lot and make things look a lot more interesting. All right, now that we are done with our critiquing, we are going to go ahead and give our star rating of uh, one one to ten. Sorry, my brain had a moment. <laughs> and uh, from one to ten on a scale, of this I'd probably give this. We're gonna give it a six or a seven. I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna give this a seven. Because for doing this just randomly and being like, we're going to do chocolate bars today, I think we did pretty good. <laughs> so before I let all of you go, I'm going to give you guys our question of the day. And this will be a fun one, so feel free to comment down below. The question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite chocolate candy? Whether it's a chocolate bar... It's like a Twix, anything with chocolate. What's your favorite chocolate? Now that we have gotten everything wrapped up, I'm going to let all of you go. So feel free to hang out in the comment section below and chat if you're interested. And other than that, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.